Perry here at Ramp Riot with Team 3314 Mechanical Mustangs. They're one of the best robots in FMA this season with their extendable arm and cube shooter. We'll break down just how this robot got so good coming up on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The new Robit system by Anymark can reduce complexity and enable robust builds. Parts align to a common one half inch grid, simplifying construction and allowing alignment of both structure and motion components. Robits enables teams to always have the parts they need to complete a build. Head on over to Anymark.com slash Robits to learn more in order today. Fun is continuing to grow and looking for new ad partners for the 2024 season. If your organization has a positive message to spread to our over 250,000 unique viewers, go to firstupdatesnow.com slash contact to get more information. Start us off with some facts about their arm. Nick, start us off. Hello, uh, First Updates Now. So we have our arm here is the primary system that we end up uh, using for majority of the competition. We ended up start using it to start uh, Ben Salem, and from there it has worked around perfectly. No structural damage or anything. So, what we have to run the arm is a Falcon. We end up having some uh, rubber wheels to get a good grip on the cone. So we'll end up sending the arm forward and running all six wheels, and which a cone would track in. It would end up feeding into here, and it would be precisely put at this angle to which we can score at any level. So that was mostly sort of the design feature towards Worlds. How we actually get to our manipulator system is through our lead screw, which is ran by a Falcon all the way at the back. And so with this Falcon system, we end up running a screw, well, a lead screw, all the way up, extending out the arm. So we can actually have two modes for hot, for high and medium. So we have what mid node in which we can release, running all six wheels outwards to score the piece. We also have a high node. I'm gonna home real quick. All right, we have a high node for the. High, for the high pegs. And, and after we're done scoring, we can end up hitting a, a single button to home it back to a starting position within a frame. We end up using a chain system that is connected to a gearbox in a Falcon to rotate in order to actually score the pieces. All right, thanks for so much detail about your arm. Now, can you tell us a little bit more about one of the most unique things about your robot, the cube shooter? So, our cube shooter here uses two Falcon motors to drive separately the top and bottom rollers. We have one, two, three sensors all used to determine where the cube is in the robot. This tells us that the cube is inside the cube intake. This tells us what side it's on, and if neither of these two sensors are breaking, then we know it's in the center. So, if you look at it right now, when I break this sensor, you're going to notice the lights are going to shine up, which tells our driver that it has a cube in the, in the uh, cube intake. On top of that, this is the sort of, in a sense, V2 of the cube intake. Sadly, I don't have the V1 to show you, but the only main difference between the V1 and the V2 is that the version 2 has these rollers on the bottom added to help with uh, stability in shooting and keep it going in a more predictable and straight line when we shoot. Um, on top of that, the cube intake is also our most damaged piece of equipment. We did have to repair this once during a competition, uh, which was pretty fun because it's all very easily, it's all very robust, all very easily repairable. To bring it back, we have two pneumatics right here. And then to bring it up, it's another separate set of two different pneumatics. Well, thank you. Now, this robot seems pretty complicated to control. Can you tell me a little bit more about the controls and software that you have on this robot? Uh, yeah, so for the controls, to know, it's hard to see when you have a piece. That's why we have LED lights. 
And you can see when you go into loading, a yellow one pops up. And when it detects, both of them pop up and it stops the sensors. So we know we have a piece and that we can home, right? And basically the same thing for the cubes. It gone up, you go down. No, for the, it goes down. And then once it knows that it has something, it'll just go back up by itself. And when we, as you can see, there's also LED lights. That's to communicate with our human player that we have a purple LED that slashes yellow. If we need a cube from the loading station and yellow, if we need a cone. Uh, Basically, yeah. All right. Now, you did a lot of the assembly on the robot. What was your favorite part of the robot to assemble this year? Probably the frame because we had to like clamp it all together. And um, the first part we did were the two big ones, and basically we clamped them together on the mill. And then after the catters, which is Nick over there, he gave us the instruct the like design for it. And then we just put it on the mill, and then we have to cut it to the side, a little bit above it, and then cut to the perfect size. So, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much, 3314. Good luck at the rest of Ramp Riot this season, and congratulations on such a well-played 2023 season. And hopefully, we'll see you again 2024. Thanks for tuning in. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The new Robit system by Anymark can reduce complexity and enable robust builds. Parts align to a common one half inch grid, simplifying construction and allowing alignment of both structure and motion components. Robits enables teams to always have the parts they need to complete a build. Head on over to Anymark.com slash Robits to learn more in order today. Don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Most live shows can be found on the First Updates Now YouTube channel, live competitions at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow, and join our Discord at discord.gg slash firstupdatesnow. Check our other social offerings on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.